Hey folks, Keith here from Waiting in the Word and thank you for joining me once again here in the Waiting in the Word workout studio for another challenging workout. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, what on earth is he wearing and does that even really suit him? Well folks, today it's all about taking off those labels that we so easily wear. Like, I'm not good enough, I'll never make it, you're a misfit. We're going to throw that off here on the floor and we're going to put on labels, I'm good enough, I can do it and I will be victorious. So why don't you come and join me on this short, challenging, back to basic workout. Okay folks, here we are. So what does our back workout look like today? So we are going to do a combination of things. Our first set, which we're going to do, or our first exercise we're going to do, which is going to include five sets, um, will be a dead row, row combination with our bottles. Now if you've got dumbbells, use the dumbbells. If not, grab our bottles as we have been doing from day one. All right, we'll be doing five sets there of 12 repetitions and I'll show you what that looks like. After that, we're going to go into our second exercise, which is going to be Renegade Rows. Get ready for that. That's going to challenge your core and it's going to challenge you uh, mentally, physically, um, and you are going to hit the floor for sure. After that, we'll go into Supermans, which will work the upper back. And lastly, we're going to go into a T-bar rowing or a cable row at the gym. I've just got resistance bands. If you do have a resistance band, join me on that one. If not, um, nonetheless, maybe do an extra set of the supermans, but we're going to get it done and we are going to strengthen our backs today. So without further ado, let's go into exercise number one, set number one. Dead row, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember to suck that lower back in. 10, 11, 12. Stop there and do rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now remember to just squeeze the back. Don't just use your biceps. Squeeze the back. Engage your back to do that exercise. Right. That is set number one. I'm going to get the heart rate up. I know you are getting the heart rate up. Keep the pace going. Although it's not heavy weights right now, we're going to make sure that we keep the pace going so that can give us the progressive overload that we need. We're going to keep our rest periods shorter as well so that will also keep our heart rate up and burning. All right. Make sure you've got your towels with you folks. Make sure you've got your, your electrolytes. As I've said, hydrate. That's what we need to do. Woo! Man, it feels so different working out in a suit. But nonetheless, we are going to get this done. All right. Second set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go on, folks. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Set and one, two, three, four, five, woo, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! Good job. Wow. That is set number two. Tell you, maybe I should just uh, loosen the buttons a little bit. Maybe that'll help this this workout, maybe it will suit the workout a lot better. Maybe I'll feel a little bit better working out. Whoa, keep our rest period short. Remember to use those electrolytes. And uh, that is set number two. We got three more. Stay with me, folks. Think about those labels that you've been wearing maybe for the past month, maybe for a year, maybe even longer than that. Maybe your parents spoke something over you that you've been challenged with for so long. Throw it off, cast it off. Today, that's what Back to Basics is all about. Okay, folks, let's pick it up. And we are going once again. Down, dead row. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12. Set yourself. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Great job, folks. Great job. Whew. Sweat is coming already. Wow. I tell you what, I think I'm just gonna take my jacket off. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna make it slightly easier for me, more comfortable if uh, I don't have a suit jacket on. So say bye bye to that. Get yourself hydrated and I'll see you right now for set number four. Okay folks, we are back now. I've just exchanged the bottles for some dumbbells just to get a little bit of an extra stretch, a little bit uh, more challenging for myself, but continue with the bottles um, as we continue with this, this workout. Right, going for set number four. Think about those labels and do this one. Not good enough, you're going off my back for sure. All right, let's go guys. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew. Oh man, Whoa. I think I might get more breath into my lungs if I take this tie off. Oh, it's a bit restricting for this exercise I'm doing. There it goes. We'll lay this one, name it. Not good enough, that was tying me down. Off it goes. Whew. It's a little bit more freeing. <laughs> think of those labels, folks. And think of your friends that are struggling with labels of their own. Maybe think of labels that you've put on others that uh, may have had a lasting impact on other people in a negative way. And I encourage you, if so, reach out to those people and make right. Nonetheless, I'm ready for set number five. <laughs> Let's go, comes on us very quickly. Perhaps this last set will be a lot easier without the tie. Okay. All right, folks. Ready, get set, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Cool. All right, just gonna turn for this. Make sure the back is nice and straight. And row one. Two. Eight. And uh, uh, ten. Oh, Whew. that is five sets. It's gushed out of me. It's taking some breath a little bit easier, knowing that <laughs> I had the tie taken off. Felt like it was tying me down. <laughs> Folks, proud of you. Proud of you for joining me. Thank you once again to the subscribers. I really appreciate the support. And let's. Uh, Let's try and knock these likes up to the number of people that I have on the channel right now. And uh, if I get double that amount of likes, I'll put up a, I'll think of something really challenging. Or maybe you, as the audience, can throw out a suggestion to me for the next workout. Nonetheless, I'm gonna grab some electrolytes. Make sure you have that minute rest or so before we go into our next 
pick this up. I'm gonna put these dumbbells away. Bring it to the side. All right, we're gonna bring bottles back. For this next exercise, we're probably only gonna need one bottle. And uh, if it's too heavy for you for this next exercise, really drop some water out and uh, get it done. So, see you right now on the floor. All right, folks, so here we are. Exercise number two, we're gonna go down to the floor. This is gonna be our renegade rows. If you had dumbbells, you could use them one at a time. But because it's our home workout, I'm gonna to stick to our water bottle, but we can only use one at a time because we will need to kind of balance ourselves out. All right, so I'm just gonna show you from, from the front what it'll look like. We'll do one set from the front and then we'll do some from the side. Okay, I'm gonna split your legs a little. Grab the bottle and row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch over to the other side. Open legs and one, two, three. Force your elbows straight up into the sky. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna take a short break here. 30 seconds, it's coming at it fast. Make sure you hydrate yourself. Take that 30 second break, shake it out. Arms are probably gonna feel it, shoulders are gonna feel low on this one for sure. But short period, I'm gonna work that back, rowing nicely, just to get the thickness of our back with the rows. All right, down we go. This time I'll show you from the side so that you can see it and put our bottle there we go into that counter push-up position but we widen our legs for stability grab our bottle and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Whew. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Cool. 30 seconds coming. Huh. I wonder. I think I'll do a little bit better. Perhaps if I just loosen the shirt a little and get this restricted. It's becoming all sweaty now, so it's kind of restricting me. Perhaps I'll just loosen it for the third set. Oh, Whew, that feels a little bit better. Some wind gushing in you. 30 seconds is up. Go on, folks. Stay with me now. Think of those labels. When you're at a horizontal point, you're engaging your core, you're sweating. Think this is the one. This is the one I've battled with for all my life. This is the one that leaves me today. Come on, folks. We've got a community that's doing this with you. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it around. Keep that nice core plank. Three, four, five, six, and J. Engage your tummy muscles. Ten. Set number three done and dusted. Two more sets to go. Whew. Huh. I think I'll do way better cooling off by taking the shirt off the shirt feels like failure you'll always be a failure no more this is for those of you out there that have ever been told you'll never amount to anything you're a failure you always disappoint the only disappointment is that the shirt wasn't here early enough to wipe the sweat away and get all dirty and be tossed out. Now we feel a little bit better. <laughs> we can uh, at least have our arms nice and free. 
to do set number four. Come on folks, let's go. Engage your core, split the legs, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it around, hold that core position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Oh, man. Oh. Great, great job, folks. We've got one more set left there. You're doing a fantastic job. And I encourage you once again, rope your spouse in. Get them to join you in with this workout. It's challenging. It's motivating. And not only that, you're going to feel better. Workout is just one element um, of living your best life now we're only working on the physical but we're not working on our spiritual mental and uh, those aspects as well as our eating habits we may not see the results that we're looking for as quick as what they could come so we don't just take it off gradually we take it off cast it away knowing that once it's off we've got a clean uh, sheet to start drawing and pasting new victorious um, labels on ourselves. So folks, our 30 seconds is right here. Let's go, last set. You're doing great. Spread those legs. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Great, great job, folks. Whoa, man, these uh, these pants are really sticking to my legs. It's sweaty, <laughs> and I know if you've been giving your all, you're going to be sweaty. You're going to be, have worked out really hard and I'm encouraged by that because like I said, Yarek waiting in the word, not only do I encourage you by my words, but I do these workouts for you and with you to show you that I kind of want to do the workout. It's not just motivating you with words, but with actions too. So. Nonetheless, I'm going to kick off these shoes because I don't think they belong in the workout studio. I've got my, my sneakers there. But uh, let's see on the first Superman set if my socks cut it. They're a bit sweaty and a bit uh, kind of slippery on this mat. But let's see. Alright folks, we're going to go into Superman now. What we want to do is as we're lying face down, as we lift up our back and our, our butts, we're going to engage and our legs are going to be off the floor. We're going to want to externally rotate the shoulders. So if we over there, um, I'm just going to show you front face on, we're going to externally rotate and the arms will externally rotate, right? So the rotator cuff will externally rotate out. That will just engage the back a little bit more. All right, so set number one. We're going to do five repetitions, but holding it for at least five seconds. So, what will it look like? Let's turn this cap around. Maybe it'd be better. All right. And from there, we're going to extend and down. And down. Three. Four. Last one, five. Good job, we're gonna do three sets here. Two sets left to go. And uh, folks, think of it when you're lying on your back like that and you're extending, you're hyper extending your back. Think of what label 
uh, is the one that's been the toughest for you because holding that superman position it's tough to breathe it's tough to hold it your butt is engaged your calves are tight your feet are really pointed you externally externally rotated and it's all in this rigid superman flying motion so i'm asking you that question again what's flying off your back that doesn't belong there as you hold that superman pose right folks set number two here we go belong here in the gym it's all about entertainment for you folks too <laughs> but I think we're gonna kick those pants off and get ourselves in more of a athletic attire and uh, these long-legged pipes are gonna be thrown off too so that I can be freed from those labels and it helped me back. Folks, you know, when I was younger, I had a lot of pimples on my face. And uh, some good friend of mine that I, I really thought was a good friend uh, at the point of which I've forgiven and I've moved through it, but it just, for an, just for a bit of a test me, is that I had a lot of pimples and I was called a pizza paste. And uh, you know, I lived a long time with that until I grew out of the whole hormonal stage of where you were changing and a bit emotionally I didn't deal with for a very long time so nonetheless it could be something small like that that has damaged you for quite some time so we're gonna knock our shoes on now I think it'll be a good time to put shoes on and uh, we'll do our last set All right. hope you folks are still with me and I uh, hope this uh, workout is busy spurring thoughts, bringing back memories, rather good, creating new good ones and throwing away the bad ones. Right, let's go, Superman. Three. Four. Five. Oh, very well done folks you know what I was thinking now as I was doing them the Superman I was thinking we're building a back here to which people are gonna marvel <laughs> for all you Avengers fans out there there's a dad joke for you right our last one is gonna be a burnout now thanks to a old Bauer hockey stick, <laughs> a vapor, I don't even know what it's called, a vapor or something, a vapor 1x. We're going to use this as the handle to our resistance band to do our burnout failure set. And folks, this is going to burn, <laughs> we're going to do it until we cannot do it no more, until it's burning so much that we have to stop, right? And for you folks who have got a, a um, resistance band, I want to encourage you to do this exercise and um, know that it's your last one and we're burning through it. I'm just going to set the weights here and we'll be straight into it. All right. So those guys don't fall off. Give us a bit of resistance. And we're picking up our bower stick. And we set ourselves nice in this motion where it's extended, got a bit of tension on it, and boom.
<laughs> Folks, I hope <laughs> you feel the way I'm feeling right now. I feel I've worked myself. I'm already sweating beneath its evidence of the camera. But nonetheless, this challenge or this workout is all I've been back to basics on how we were born and what God has told us about who we are, or for me that is. Um, I want to live my best life now. So yeah, from the Waiting the Word studio, from myself, Keith, hit that um, notification bell, the like uh, button if you like this video. Also please, if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe, encourage people, share this video. And uh, I hope that we as a Waiting in the Word community can grow into something beautiful that encourages one another on a daily basis. So folks, till next time, you got it. Be blessed, stay strong, keep waiting in the Word. Well folks, here we are at the end of the day. Um, we've just had a challenging workout and as you could see in that workout, it was very, very tiring and I must say quite restricting to do a workout in a suit but as I gradually started taking off those layers it made it so much easier for me to do an efficient uh, workout and get it done and so too it reminds me of life of these labels that we've been talking about so many times those labels weigh us down and it holds us back from living our best life as God intended and um, so today I just want to remind you just a little bit of encouragement what the Word of God says about your identity that number one we are made in the image of God and therefore we can rest be rest assured that he has not labeled us uh, unforsaken or um, labeled us not good enough we are made in his image and that makes us good enough and um, in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 it says this therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation the old has passed away behold the new has come so today I want to say to you that you are a new creation that which has been spoken over you has no longer a hold upon your life and you can rest assured that you are a new creation with the power of Christ living inside of you and second of all in Jeremiah 29 11 we've heard this verse so many times and it is for I know the plans I have for you God knows the plans he has for you and your life and they are plans declares the Lord to prosper you not to harm you and they are plans to give you a hope and a future so therefore folks I want to just leave you with that today to tell you that you are good enough in God's eyes that he has made you in the image of the Father and uh, that you are a new creation in Christ live in that with there's no condemnation that the labels that have been spoken of of you are put off today and the only label that you should know and believe in right now is that you are a child of God made in God's image and that you are a new creation so folks be blessed stay strong and keep waiting in the word as you take heart know that you are more than a conqueror in Christ and that you can do all things through him who gives you the strength to do so so folks it's been a pleasure don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, till next time may you have a great and fantastic day further bye bye